Tune in to the number one weekend show on the internet. The Morning Buds featuring the sick humor of Groovy John. Go, go, go to hell. Fo- 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 phone boy. Tran Air. <laughs> <laughs> Blade. A very risque. I heard that. Leather open cup. <laughs> um, yes. Frothing. What can you do about it? Hot rod. Burger barn can I help you? <laughs> And Brian Steele. You know, I Paul Stone in the toilet pig looking for, <laughs> you know, somebody to fuck my wife. <laughs> Regular features on the show include the skinny, fodder from the blotter, your dirty, and frequent zingers. So if you like cheese, hippie dancing, low cost auto insurance, and the Golden Girls, thank you for being a friend. Tune into the Morning Buzz weekends. Travel down a road and back again. Your heart is true, you're a pal and a confidant. This podcast is under construction. Please enjoy. Best of. The Morning Buzz. I never realized how many uh, people lock their babies in a car until I started listening to these OnStar commercials. Every other one, some ladies locked her freaking baby in the car. Well, you know, I can understand that. What though. did they you, do before OnStar? You leave your keys, your wallet, your, your baby, your child. You know, <laughs> whatever. It's understandable. It's yeah. understandable. Yeah, they're really taking a different tone. OnStar, great service, but it's really useful for certain things. For example, here's an OnStar commercial you might not hear on the radio except on the morning buzz. An OnStar conversation, April 1st, 2004. OnStar Emergency, this is Sharonda. Dear God, help us. There's been a major crash. We're on fire. I'll be contacting emergency <laughs> services for you. Dear God, yes, I'm burning alive. Make sure you're never without the valuable emergency assistance services. of OnStar. Hi. <laughs> Provincial dispatch. Hi, this is Sharonda calling from OnStar. I'm calling to report a vehicle crash with airbag deployment <laughs> in Edmonton, yeah. Alberta. I do have the occupant on the line. What happened, sir? For the love of God, just get somebody out here. I'm on fire. Okay, we'll get somebody. Would you like for me to remain on the line until emergency <laughs> services arrive? Hey, lady, go to hell. Many <laughs> Chevys and cars and trucks are among the more than 50 GM models available with OnStar. burning Star. on fire. I, under, I understand OnStar. your frustration, <laughs> sir. I understand. Have emergency <laughs> services arrived? <laughs> <laughs> You're very welcome, sir. OnStar. Oh, always man. there. Always ready. 96.5 The The Buzz. The buzz. <laughs> Now, back to the morning buzz with John. In phone by. In the house. Coming to work today, dude. What's up with that? Well, the fact that I actually got my sloppy ass up and showed up today is pretty amazing. Uh, I've been out and about on the countryside. Uh, lots to talk about. Uh, got to got to see the palatial gay estates. <laughs> <laughs> tell me the... about your trip to the homoerotic apartment complex yeah. in uh, Atlanta there. <laughs> well, they're, some, they're big, uh, trendy, art deco type condos uh, at the Metropolis. And uh, you're right across oh, yeah, street. Those are the... fancy up in Atlanta. Yeah, right across street from the Federal Reserve. If anybody wants to check it out, I think it's metropolisatlanta.com. Some fancy but, living. So that's yeah. where you've been. You've been hanging out. <laughs> yeah, well, I've been, you know. Uh, they're, 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 yeah, there have been a few of these. We've been setting up uh, a good friend of mine. His name is David Michael. And uh, we're, we're peddling his artwork relentlessly. Uh, <laughs> hey, give a plug for it online. You can, yeah. I don't. You're Definitely. not getting paid anything to do this show, so <laughs> if you want to be interested in some artwork, uh, it's at eBay. Well, yeah, I've got it at eBay. You're, you're, uh, David Michael, M-I-K-E-L-L, is, is who you need to be checking into. And uh, it's good stuff. It's fresh. It's, it's different. It's abstract. It's uh, it's more than the middle Georgia area can handle. Oh, I promise you that. Yeah, you get, you got to be bi-curious and from Atlanta to, to get in. No, i just <laughs> Glad to have you back. It's been a while. It's been a while. Oh, I just wanted to tell you, Fo Boy, uh, one more time. It is good to have you back. And here I am, amazing, tipping over trash cans, <laughs> terrorizing the neighbors. That's right, stealing their property. Prank phone calls. Man, I got more concrete pineapples than the average man should be allowed. <laughs> Lawn ornaments gone missing. Ah, uh, that's you know where they went. I'm not taking pictures though. The gnome is mine, and I'm keeping it. <laughs> the lawn gnome. <laughs> We've got Frank Malloy, Camaros, flea markets, and that smell that is Middle Georgia. I love you, Macon. <laughs> uh, Frank Malloy and his man boobs. You know, and, and I could bury my head up underneath one of those and, and never come back out again. <laughs> good times coming up on the Morning Buzz. Phone boy, it is good to have you back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Pardon our-
our progress. You're listening to the best of the morning buzz. This podcast is under construction. Now back to the morning buzz with John and Phone Boy. That's hey, right. Hey, I like it. The one and oh, only. For good measure. Well, uh, this zinger, I called up uh, the uh, radio station at our alma mater and uh, zing them, and they, they weren't too appreciative of it. Let's <laughs> No kidding. This is uh, the Big Gur, W-G-U-R, we're calling it. Yeah, a here. bunch of wads over there, I'm sure. I mean, moody kids hanging out at the radio station in the middle of the night. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes? I'm Bender. You're who? What prize do I get? Cash? Do what? What prize do I get? Cash? Uh, nah, <laughs> dog. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, here's an idea. Let's go get drunk. Okay. Okay. What's the rent on one of these jars? Huh? <laughs> Ever been beaten up by a guy dressed like a chick? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Miss that Eric. So there was a pleasure meeting. <laughs> Want to kill all humans? <laughs> yeah, man, I'll kill them. <laughs> kill all the humans, that's what I say. <laughs> Listen, buddy, I'm in a hurry here. Okay. Can't you see I'm using a toilet? <laughs> <laughs> it's about to get Would violent. you kindly shut your noise hole? <laughs> hey, how about you lick my ass? If you want oh, children beaten, oh, you have to do it yourself. Hey, who the f*** is wrong with you? Know, I kick you. Who the hell is here calling a f- station like this? Hello? Hello, who the hell are you doing calling my radio station? Do you know we're trying to run an order business? We don't got time to be bullshitting on the phone. <laughs> my name is Coilette. I don't give a f- what your name is. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the pride and joy of Georgia College <laughs> State University. <laughs> well, this is very funny, man. <laughs> This podcast is under construction. Please enjoy. Best of the morning buzz. Right now we're going to try to get Blade on the phone. Wish him a Merry Christmas. Happy holiday thing. Hello. Hello, Blade. Oh, senior groovy dude. How's it going? Man, this uh, Christmas shopping is killing me, dude. I heard that. I'm in the Christmas wrapping mode here myself. You know, I was like in the Christmas spirit and stuff, and I go down the mall, and it's just shopping, shopping, shopping. Where's the Christmas and all this holiday shopping I'm seeing? Well, what can, what can you do about it? <laughs> what does buying presents have to do with Christmas? Why should we be buying people presents for Christmas? Because otherwise, it would just be an ordinary holiday, and um, just be a religious holiday. Right, it would just be a religious holiday. That's right. It's, about. it's more than that. It's yeah. about the season of everybody <laughs> buying presents for each other. Well, when you go down the mall and you see everybody buying a bunch of overpriced crap that nobody needs, it kind of takes the spirit out of the holidays right out, right out the freaking yeah. window there anyway. So what's yeah. been the toughest Christmas present for you to find this year? The toughest Christmas present? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's um, probably that ultimate romantic gift. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I meant I meant like you know like a toy you're trying to get for your kids. Oh no, those are easy. My kids well, are great. They not exactly what. <laughs> I wasn't sure about what. Well, I was, oh, there was girl. one. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It was difficult to find. Um, <laughs> yes, the Nintendo DS without advertising. It was it was just selling out left and right. Um, but uh, I caught a target at the right time. <laughs> it was just, oh no, the third time I went to that target. And there was a Best Buy, so, but that that was truly a difficult present. Um, How many cool. stores did you go to to find that Nintendo D? Man, I don't know. It, it's four, five, six. Wow. You know, it, it, I start thinking about every store I'd check in to see if they happened to have it. It would be the first thing I'd ask somebody who wanted to help me. You don't happen to have Nintendo D, yes. <laughs> well, I'm sure you also found something very adult and mature for you and your girlfriend. Well, if I if I didn't, I would be a lousy uh, boyfriend. That would that would have been that was harder for you to find the perfect gift. That right per- personally, just deciding on what that gift should be, that was more difficult. Mm. Uh, no, I'm not going to tell your your people because um, I'm we could the guys not, listening could use a tip, a gift idea, a last minute holiday idea. It depends on your woman, and mine, <laughs> ha- mine happens to be uh, very risque. Well, a lot of our listeners have risque women. 
Right. Can you recommend something for them? Maybe Blade's top three Christmas gifts for liberal-minded ladies for the holiday season. <laughs> well, let's do this. Uh, leather open cup. Um, yes. Brothing. Um, Brothing. Yeah. If, if, you, if you like that, that leather look on a lady. Uh-huh. Definitely. Yeah. And, um, and w- without a doubt, uh, the corset for the woman who can handle it. Mm-hmm. For the woman who can handle it. It's pretty fine. Nice, nice. Well, see, you gave some guys some ideas right there. Yeah, sure, and the, my final one, if he doesn't have one, an old novelty product. Can I give it a name? Yeah, sure. The Rabbit. <laughs> the Rabbit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Those would be my top three picks. Good deal. Well, I, I got you something because I know how, how much you like porn for uh, Christmas. Well, 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 crap, I didn't get you anything. Oh, man. No, I no, did send you a card. <laughs> Well, I'm going <laughs> to... A Yahoo greeting card. Sweet. <laughs> no, I put it in the mail, man. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I got it today. Thank you very much. Uh, well, it was, it was the thought that counts. Well, there, first there was Blonde Star. Actually, first there was On Star, and uh, Phone Boy got a part-time job over at On Star. This is your Christmas gift I got for you. Okay. And uh, there was also Blonde Star for blonde women. Now they've come out with something for guys. Guys just like, like you, Blade. This is the uh, newest edition. It's called uh, Porn Star. The following is an actual recording of a conversation between a Porn Star subscriber and a Porn Star advisor. <laughs> You've reached Porn Star Emergency Services. This is Kendra. I need help. I've just been in an accident. Oh, were you rear-ended? Yes, yes, I was, and it hurts. <laughs> oh, good it always hurts the first few times, but then you get used to it. <laughs> when you turn on Porn Star, an advisor is always there. There to turn you on. My neck hurts. <laughs> I think I have whiplash. Oh, I love whips, but I charge more for bondage films. Huh? <laughs> My car's total. I'll never get these pizzas delivered. Hey, are you the pizza delivery guy? Yeah. I know you. Didn't we work together on Double Sausage at the Back Door, volumes 10 through 27? Ask your dealer about getting serviced by Pornstar. Ow, I think my head is starting to swell. Oh, now I'm getting hot. I have your GPS coordinates. I'll be right over. No, no, I need medical attention. Oh, does that mean you want me to wear my nurse's uniform? Oh, bring it sure, on, okay. baby. Pornstar, always bare, always ready. <laughs> The perfect holiday gift for... Uh, well, thank you very much. Like that was not not a bad present at all. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, one, two, five, four, three, two, one. The Morning Buzz with Groovy John and Phone Boy. Hello! The Buzz. This podcast is under construction. Regular programming of The Morning Buzz resumes the weekend of November 19th. Till then, please enjoy. Best of... The Morning Buzz. The uh, zinger of the day. Thank you, John Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield. Hello? 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 Hello, can I help you? I'm Bender. <laughs> You're who? I'm Bender. Okay. <laughs> hey, here's an idea. Let's go get drunk. Good Where? <laughs> <laughs> I'm game. <laughs> Thank you. She's no coming to Want to kill all humans? No. <laughs> no. Hello? <laughs> no. Hello? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I love that laugh. You don't have anything better to do? <laughs> if you want children beaten, you have to do it yourself. Bad. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> Ever been beaten up by a guy dressed like a chick? <laughs> no, have you? <laughs> <laughs> have you? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, sir! (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for calling 1-800-GO-BEYOND. This is Pam speaking. How may we help you? Hello? Hello, this is Pam speaking. How may we help you? Hello, peasants. (laughs) Want to kill all humans? (laughs) How can I help you today, sir? (laughs) Listen, buddy, I'm in a hurry here. Ever been beaten up by a guy dressed like a chick? Are you looking to place an order, sir? Uh Uh-huh. Yep. How can I help you today? (laughs) What's the rent on one of these jars? (laughs) Can I help you place an order, sir? Yep. (laughs) What would you like to order today, sir? Hey, here's an idea. Let's go get drunk. 
<laughs> I'm a bender. I bend girders. That's all I'm programmed to do. <laughs> Sir, this is call is being recorded. <laughs> really? <laughs> so they will know how to find you. <laughs> Pardon our progress. You're listening to the best of the morning buzz. This podcast is under construction. Now back to the morning buzz with Groovy John. Stand by. Five, four, three, two, one. One. The best of Josh. 101.1 WNOE right there was Tim McGraw one of these days. Come up with a little bit of Travis Tripp. <laughs> Faith Hill and John Michael Montgomery. Give me a call to do so. WNOE or 1-800-543-WNOE if you'd like to get your song on. My name is Jimmy O'Neill. There is no Arizona. 101.1 WNOE. Rollers in our town row. Today's high country. Give me a call to do so. WNOE or 1-800-543-WNOE. Oh. Can't even talk. Right here is Phil Vassar. Just another day in paradise. For Sly Allen. WNOE. You listen to Michael Myers on yeah, baby. Yeah. 21.1 WNOE. Rolling through 10 rows in Eastside Country. My name is the Dixie Chicks. They're coming to New Orleans Arena on October 29th. This ticket is on sale right now. The ticket master to call 522 5555. Or listen here to. Get your chance to win. Don't change your dial. That's a train Don't, don't, don't touch that dial. Today's Eastside Country. Right there was Alan Jackson coming up. Kenny Chesney, Tim McGraw, John Michael Montgomery, right here. I was here. in a Kenny church Chesney, choir with Alan Howard. Jackson years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I don't make this stuff up. Today's Side Country, give me a call. 60 WNOE, 1 800 543. WNOE, I've got a future song on for you. I need to do my best friend for Mandeville. Oh, he stepped over the lyrics again. Today's Side Country, give me a call. 60 WNOE, 1 800 543. WNOE, I'll be happy to get your song on for you. That was one of his better breaks. I'm going to get your song one for you. <laughs> I believe he's a good country boy from Slidell, Louisiana, won't they? Yes, sir. <laughs> right here is Sawyer Brown. Some girls do. on the big one. It's 101.1 WNOE. We're going to today's country. Give me a call. 262 WNOE. 1-800-543-WNOE. Is this the hottest DJ you've heard in some time, David? I, I think y'all are doing the favor and send him a tape of you guys' morning show. No, of, of us zinging yeah. him? Oh, yeah. He'd <laughs> like that. <laughs> Hey. Yes, Randy Poor guy. Never, amen for Smack sex. monkey probably plays <laughs> naked scategories. I'll be get your song on for you. I was gonna say I did learn one thing. He will get your song on for you. And we have a song on for you, right here. Uh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch, for the big for Shaman on the big one, 101.1 WNOE. 101.1 WNOE, we're on the 10th row. Today's our country, right there with Trisha Gable. Clark Family Experience. Slow down. Coming up, George Street, Martin McBride, Garth Brooks, Trisha Gable. 101.1 WNOE, we're on the 10th row. Today's our country. What? What? Who? You got to keep up. This stuff is just lighting fast. It's too early in the morning. Martina McBride loves the only house. For St. Bernard on the big one, 101.1 WNOE. Who the hell is? 101.1 WNOE, we're on the 10th row. Today's our country. Right there was Andy Griggs. Where is Leanne Rhymes, Unchained yes. Melody for Angela in Fat City? She called it in the WNOE lines. Give me a call to you, so WNOE. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> he lost it there. Oh, here comes all the weather breaks now. forecast. <laughs> <laughs> Probably cloudy, not so cold. Highs in the mid 50s. Of course, it's still going to be cold, but it's not going to be so cold. <laughs> Your money becoming mostly cloudy with 30. That makes cold. sense, right, David? It sounds like things I say. <laughs> But in your head, you know, you straighten them out before you say them in public, much less on the radio. Nope, nope. Not, not usually. <laughs> Let's get more weather here. Your morning fog. Otherwise, partly cloudy with isolated showers. <laughs> highs in the Partly cloudy lows in the mid-60s. And your money forecast, partly cloudy highs in the lower 60s. You want us he might replace Van Shepard. Low clouds, <laughs> no. He's going to take the ship. Um, <laughs> few thunderstorms. Highs in the 70s tonight. 90% chance of rain and showers. A few thunderstorms. Turning cool or late. Lows in the 90% <laughs> chance. I think that means it's going to rain. Turning right. cool, but not too cool. No, no. Not cold, but cold. <laughs> More weather. Ten early morning. Low clouds. And patchy fog. 70% chance of rain and afternoon showers. And a few thunderstorms. Highs near 70. Tonight, 90% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Turning cool or late. Lows in the mid 40s. And your Monday forecast probably Cloudy, breezy, and colder. Highs 50 to 55. Break on the weekend. Say early morning.
morning, low clouds and patchy fog. Otherwise, a 70% chance of afternoon showers and sick of my job. Sick of my 90% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Right turning cool late, lows in the mid 40s, and your Monday floor class forecast. Cold, breezy and cold. Your floor class. Your Monday. Your Monday floor cast. Your Monday floor class. I'll have to get your song on for you. I'll step it over the words. WRE weather forecast. We got... Today's hot country. I'll be get your song on for you. Put song on the WRE. Put song on for you. Let's wait for a slide down. <laughs> well, I'm going to the big one, no, Hollis. All right, slide down. Get your song on, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to try it one time, David? I know you've never talked up a song in your entire life, but you can do it better. Go for it. Uh, this, the, my, the chest right. Uh, David was way better than he could have ever done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's ten in a row today's hot country. We got a Dixie Where'd Chicks. You get down the <laughs> oh, I'm stepping over the lyrics again. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 you're not gonna believe it. I'll get your song on for you. <laughs> this podcast is under construction. Please enjoy. Best of the morning buzz. Tune in to the number one weekend show on the internet. The Morning Buzz featuring the sick humor of Groovy John. Go, go, go to hell. Fo- 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 phone boy. Tran Air. <laughs> <laughs> Blade. A very risque. I heard that. Leather open cup. <laughs> um, yes. Frothing. What can you do about it? Hot rod. Burger barn can I help you? <laughs> And Brian Steele. You know, I Paul Stone in the toilet pig looking for, <laughs> you know, somebody to fuck my wife. <laughs> Regular features on the show include the skinny, fodder from the blotter, your dirty, and frequent zingers. So if you like cheese, hippie dancing, low cost auto insurance, and the Golden Girls, thank you for being a friend. Tune into the Morning Buzz weekends. Travel down a road and back again. Your heart is true, you're a pal and a confidant. This podcast is under construction. Please enjoy. Best of the morning buzz. It's uh, John and uh, Blade on the morning buzz. I understand uh, you had an interesting weekend. You ran into, uh, well, I don't want to tell your story here, but uh, a little lo- local celebrity. Well, what can I say? It was, um, my weekend was a little different. Um <laughs> Got back into town and stopped to have a little drink and uh-huh. um, yeah, a little drinky poo. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there was a guy sitting next to me and uh, didn't recognize him at first. And no. uh, we chatted. And I felt his hand moving up my thigh. Uh oh. Said his name was Frank. Hmm, I know a Frank. And Frank. Um. Uh, wait, wait. Did, did he, he have about five pounds of neck fat? Real healthy jowls. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no. he he he, uh, he offered to let me caress them. With the, no, that was <laughs> caress his jowls. That was that was Frank <laughs> Malloy, wasn't it? I, I I think that was that Frank was. Frank. I, I always got a little dedication from Blade going out to Frank this morning. Frank, I'll never forget you. Channel thirteen, straight from the fart. Don't lose my number. <laughs> I think Frank is going to like this a lot. It really it really sets him straight on what the deal is. Friend, right? Oh, I know We're drinking. Yeah. I don't want to spoil it by just being one night with somebody so special. So blatantly gay. But if I were gay, I would give you my heart. And if I were gay, you'd be my work of art. Oh, Frank, you are a beautiful man. If I were gay, we would swim in romance. But I'm not gay. So get your hand out of my pants. <laughs> now, what did Frank do when you told him to get your hand out of my <laughs> Well, then he started um, uh, rubbing my nipples. It's not that I don't care. I do. I just don't see his myself. Belly fat. His belly fat. <laughs> another time, another scene. I'd be right behind you, if you know what I mean. Oh, hey, Eric. Frank, you are a beautiful man. He followed me into the bathroom. 
Trucker love at the restroom, maybe. Oh, he <laughs> the tried. Rest stop. He tried it. So won't you stop cupping my hand? Hey. <laughs> uh, You're such a man, Frank. Man. <laughs> Bi curious. We've never hugged. We've never kissed. I've never <laughs> been intimate with your fist. You have all been brand new dogs. Get out of here, here, Frank. Drop your drawers. I'm Drop here, them, Frank. I'm here, Frank. <laughs> Don't be shy. Oh, uh, we're just ripping you, Frank Malloy. I, uh, uh, I tell you, if Frank Malloy doesn't stop bobbling his head around that when he reads the news, he's like left, right, up, and down. He's going to end his career real early. The, the spine is not meant to withstand that kind of pressure, Frank. <laughs> well, he's practiced. All right, uh, that is a... Long distance dedication. Hey, we love you, Frank. Thank you, boys and girls. We, 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 we know <laughs> that retro mornings on the buzz are <laughs> the best in alternative and modern rock from the 90s. Start the day in a pleasant, unhurried way. 96.5 The Morning Buzz. Get retro. This podcast is under construction. Please enjoy. Best of The Morning Buzz. You're listening to the Morning Buzz with John and Phone Boy. Do not stop listening or I will squish this frog. The Buzz. Sometimes the conversations online are just, I think, worthy of radio airplay. So I've transcribed a conversation I had with one of my friends whom I'm going to have to keep his name yeah. private here. But uh... <laughs> Well, you know, every now and then you might say something worthwhile, but for all the useless rambling... Uh... I guess it's worthy of wasting your time <laughs> elsewhere with it. Right? I'm going to play the part of myself. <laughs> and Doesn't work. <laughs> Fun boy is going to play the part of uh, person the one. Other guy, yeah, the, yeah. the other guy. The other guy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> All right. Okay, well. so uh, <clears throat> let me put on my... Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Blake. <laughs> 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 All right. I do- do my part. <laughs> so, so here it is, right? <clears throat> and uh, oh, I, I look, could... I've got an instant message. Let me yeah. see. Oh, I got instant message from my friend Weenus head. What does Bing! it say? Uh, damn, was thinking about blowing off work tomorrow, but might as well go on in. Boss not there. Spank the dolphin and fall asleep. Smearing the wee wee <laughs> at work. Use my mouse pad as a pillow and fall asleep on floor. <laughs> da- <laughs> Davies does that at the library. Oh. Hobnobbing. Library? <laughs> Laugh out loud, just a joke. I don't think he smears it in public too much anymore. <laughs> Maybe occasionally on long car trips. You know, Brother Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> We're we really in the wrong. <laughs> Look out, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. <laughs> We're just really good at this acting thing, aren't we? There. <laughs> we are not professional actors. We are... <laughs> All right, All right uh, uh, brother Joe stuck his penis up against the car window once. One time he picked up his girlfriend from high school. Porky pig in it, meaning he had no pants on. Uh, saw a 55-year-old, 250-pound, g- giggly white white dude on motorcycle on I-16 yesterday wearing short shorts, house slipper moccasin shoes, no socks, and helmet. Very disturbing. Lots of belly going 80 miles an hour. <laughs> uh, damn Shriners. <laughs> That's always nice to pick up high school kids without pants. <laughs> I bet there are guys in prison. Man, I was just at high school parking lot without pants. Uh, <laughs> hey, who here is not guilty? Oh, uh, my. Going through the high school without their pants. <laughs> God, I think I went to high school one morning without pants on. <laughs> Phone boy is coming out. Uh, (laughs) Mo money, mo problems. Coming out.